the first series in the problem statement can be written as 1 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 times 4 divided by taking 4 common 4 square times 1 times 2 plus 1 times 4 times 7 divided by 4 cube times 1 times 2 times 3 plus and so on. This is equal to 1 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 times 4 divided by 4 square times 2 factorial plus 1 times 4 times 7 divided by 4 cube multiplied by 3 factorial plus 1 times 4 times 7 times 10 divided by 4 is power 4 times 4 factorial plus and so on. Now multiply and divide the second term by 3. Multiply and divide the third term by 3 square. Multiply and divide the fourth term by 3 cube and so on and so forth. This expression can be rearranged as 1 plus 1 upon 3 divided by 1 factorial times 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 3 times 4 upon 3 divided by 2 factorial multiplied by 3 upon 4 square plus 1 upon 3 times 4 upon 3 times 7 upon 3 divided by 3 factorial multiplied by 3 upon 4 cube plus 1 upon 3 times 4 upon 3 times 7 upon 3 times 10 upon 3 divided by 4 factorial and multiplied by 3 upon 4 raised to the power 4 plus and so on. Now notice that the numerator of each of the terms from the second term onwards is a product of an even number of terms. Multiplying each of those terms in the numerator by minus 1, we get 1 plus minus 1 upon 3 upon 1 factorial times minus 3 upon 4 plus minus 1 upon 3 times minus 4 upon 3 divided by 2 factorial multiplied by minus 3 upon 4 square plus minus 1 upon 3 times minus 4 upon 3 times minus 7 upon 3 upon 3 factorial times minus 3 upon 4 cube plus minus 1 upon 3 times minus 4 upon 3 times minus 7 upon 3 times minus 10 upon 3 divided by 4 factorial and multiplied by minus 3 upon 4 raised to the power 4 plus and so on. This can be rewritten as 1 plus minus 1 upon 3 upon 1 factorial times minus 3 upon 4 plus minus 1 upon 3 times minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 2 factorial multiplied by minus 3 upon 4 square plus minus 1 upon 3 times minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 times minus 1 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 factorial times minus 3 upon 4 cube plus and so on. Notice that this is the binomial expansion of 1 minus 3 upon 4 raised to the power minus 1 upon 3 which is equal to 1 upon 4 raised to the power minus 1 upon 3. 1 upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 2 square and therefore this further simplifies to 1 upon 2 raised to the power minus 2 upon 3. This can be written as 1 minus half raised to the power minus 2 upon 3 using binomial expansion. This can be expressed as 1 plus minus half multiplied by minus 2 upon 3 plus minus 2 upon 3 times minus 2 upon 3 minus 1 upon 2 factorial times minus half square plus minus 2 upon 3 times minus 2 upon 3 minus 1 times minus 2 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 factorial and multiplied by minus half cube plus minus 2 upon 3 times minus 2 upon 3 minus 1 times minus 2 upon 3 minus 2 
times minus 2 upon 3 minus 3 divided by 4 factorial multiplied by minus half raised to the power 4 plus and so on. Now this simplifies to 1 plus 2 upon 6 plus 2 upon 3 times 5 upon 3 divided by 2 factorial multiplied by 1 upon 2 square plus 2 upon 3 times 5 upon 3 times 8 upon 3 divided by 3 factorial multiplied by 1 upon 2 cube plus 2 upon 3 times 5 upon 3 times 8 upon 3 times 11 upon 3 divided by 4 factorial multiplied by 1 upon 2 raised power 4 plus and so on. This is equal to 1 plus 2 upon 6 plus 2 times 5 divided by 1 times 2 times 2 times 3 square plus 2 times 5 times 8 divided by 1 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 cube plus 2 times 5 times 8 times 11 divided by 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 2 times 3 raised to the power 4 plus and so on. This can also be written as 1 plus 2 upon 6 plus 2 times 5 divided by 1 times 2 times 6 times 6 plus 2 times 5 times 8 divided by 1 times 2 times 3 times 6 times 6 times 6 plus 2 times 5 times 8 times 11 divided by 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 multiplied by 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 plus and so on. And this can finally be written as 1 plus 2 upon 6 plus 2 times 5 upon 6 times 12 plus 2 times 5 times 8 divided by 6 times 12 times 18 plus 2 times 5 times 8 times 11 divided by 6 times 12 times 18 times 24 plus and so on. And notice that this is identical to the second series given in the problem statement which completes the proof.